Hi everybody, we're back for another story. Today's story is about the colour monster. Are you ready? The Colour Monster by Anna Lennis. This is my friend, the Colour Monster. Today he's all mixed up and very confused and he doesn't know why. Look at you, you're all over the place. That's because your feelings are all stirred together, so your colours are too. I know, let's put each feeling in a different jar so we can look at it more closely. I can help if you like. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. You feel bright and light. You laugh, you jump, you dance. You want to share that feeling with everyone. This is sadness. It's gentle like a blue rainy day. Sadness can make you cry. It can make you feel alone. But if you're sad, I'll hold your hand. This is anger. It blazes red like fire. Anger can make you want to stomp. and roar and shout, it's not fair! This is fear, it's black like the night and hides in the shadows like a scaredy cat. Being afraid can make you feel very small and alone. If you're scared, tell me why and we'll walk through the forest together. This is calm. It's quiet like the trees and soft like their leaves. Now you're calm. Here are all your feelings, and each one has a different colour. Let's look at them together. Yellow is happiness. Blue is sadness. Red is anger. Black is fear. And green is calm. But what's this? You look different. Colour monster, uh, how do you feel now? story all about feelings and how colours can represent feelings 
we're in very different times at the minute we're not at school we're not seeing our friends so we feel all different mixes of feelings now Evie and Emmett are going to do some fun activities ready hi, hi. Evie and Emmett are back to do a fun activity based around the colour monster okay they're both going to choose a colour of how they're feeling today. Evie, what's your colour? Calm. Calm, which is green. Emmett, what's your colour? Yellow. Yellow, which is happy. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. For this activity, you will need paper, Paint, straws, we didn't have any straws at home so we just made some by rolling up some, some paper that we had around the house and then taping it together. If you can get these quite small that makes it a lot easier. You'll need some glue and finally some googly eyes. Step by step instructions. Step one, choose your colour. This could be a favourite colour or something based on how you're feeling today or you could just work your way through them all. Step two, squirt a blob of paint onto your paper. Depending on what paint you're using, you might need to add a tiny little bit of water to it. Um, it will make it easier to, to blow around the page as well. Step three, use the straw to blow the paint in lots of different directions. If this is a struggle, you can use your hands or any other fun things that you can find around the house. And finally, wait for your monster to dry. You could always do different colours and some more monsters on other pieces of paper. Then glue on your eyes and voila, you'll have a masterpiece. activities that you can do on the end of this video okay see you later bye <laughs>